<sighs> it's another beautiful day. I feel refreshed and ready to talk to my family today about how Frederick and I don't want to get married. Hmm, I feel like I'm relieved that it's morning. Did I have a bad dream last night or something? I don't remember. <gasps> oh, right. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. Is this mirror broken or something? Father, you can't be serious! What's going on? Oh, morning, sweetie. <laughs> mm. I just made a little announcement is all. <laughs> but your sisters are taking the news a bit dramatically. What's the announcement? Well, I just received news that I unfortunately must depart on another expedition with my troops. I have to leave this afternoon and I'll be gone for a few weeks. Oh, that is really sad news. We'll miss you, Papa. But it's definitely not the first time this has happened, so it shouldn't be that upsetting. Yes, it is very sad news, but that's not why we're upset. It's because of this. A list of fatherly decrees, in effect forthwith for each daughter until marriage. It's simply a short list of some new house rules. I just realized that I've been a bit too lenient with you girls. Hmm. Well, I don't really know because you've never let us talk to any other girls, but... I'm pretty sure that's not true. Anyway, I cannot accept these rules. While Papa is gone, no daughters are allowed to see the Plaid Princes or let them inside of this palace? Why, Father? Didn't you want us to marry them so they would keep us company while you're gone so often? Those have always been the rules here. You've never been allowed outside the palace and no one has ever been allowed to set foot in here while I'm gone. And until you are married, there will be no exceptions to these rules. Not even for the princes. But then why did you also push back the wedding indefinitely? B because you girls just aren't ready yet. Okay, but that's not even the most upsetting decree. Listen to this. During any interaction with the opposite sex, daughter shall only wear specific fatherly approved attire. What exactly is fatherly approved attire? <sighs> I expected pushback from this decree, so I came prepared with a sample. Jamie, you can come on out now. <sighs> Papa, why would you make Jamie wear that? What? I needed a model. And doesn't he look adorable? This dress shows that you can exude grace and femininity without needing to expose much skin. Uh, I can't breathe! Well, that backfired. Forget that rule, girls. Then can we get rid of this next ridiculous rule too? No physical contact is ever allowed with the opposite sex, excluding family. None like at all? A nice compliment or curtsy can be just as effective as a love language. A curtsy? So let's just cut to the chase and have you girls promise to abide by these rules, shall we? Mm -hmm. And let's start with you, Gwenny Pie. Uh, no physical contact or letting any princes put their face really close to yours. Promise Papa, okay? When you don't have to agree to this! Um, well, actually... This is the perfect time to talk to all of you about something really important to me. Okay, I can do this. I actually feel much less nervous than when I talked to Frederick. Oh, mm -hmm. of course, sweetie. What is it? Um, I've been afraid to say this because the last thing I want is to ruin Maria and Lorena's engagements, nor do I want to hurt our alliance with the Plaid Kingdom at all. But Frederick and I talked yesterday before the amusement park and... We'd like to cancel our engagement, as we both feel like there's no attraction between us. Uh, huh? uh, no attraction? You know, Gwen is the youngest out of all of us, and these new emotions have probably all been really confusing for her. I guess we have been pretty selfishly charging ahead, which is making her feel unready about marriage. Gwen, you never have to worry about doing anything for our sake. Nothing you do will affect our decision to marry or not, so long as we know you're happy. That's right, sweetie. But maybe don't rush calling off your engagement. Why don't we just slowly see how things go? Yeah, there's plenty of time now. Um, okay, that sounds fair. I'm just so relieved they said they're not going to call off their marriages. I did it! 
and fine, Father, we agree to slow things down with our engagements. And we will abstain from seeing the princes until after you've returned. But we're not going to do any of that other weird stuff you listed. Well, thank you, girls. I appreciate it. But I must have you abide by the last rule before I leave. Another rule? But father! Girls, please. <sighs> what is it now? The final rule. Always remember that Papa loves you. Hmm. Oh, Father, oh. we love you, too. <laughs> Have a safe trip, Papa. I want to see Blaine again. Is Father home from his expedition yet? It's been an hour since he left, so probably not. Oh. Girls, if you miss the princes that much, might I suggest writing them a letter? Throughout history, letter exchanges have been a famously renowned practice for lovers to express their feelings for one another. Not that I've ever received any. Oh, Miss Agatha, you're a genius! Let's get started right away! We can also send them little gifts to remember us by. Very good, Lorena. I like your proactive attitude. And we've got paper right here. Uh, that was your math textbook. Very bad, Lorena. Hi, Gwen. We're about to write letters to the Plaid Princes. Would you like to join? Oh, write a letter to Frederick? I'm not sure what I would even say to him, though. I also have to leave for my extracurricular study soon. <gasps> I can help with that part. I got to learn about Frederick on the amusement park ride. If you can stick around for a second, I'll tell you all about it. Yes, it's time for my romantic espionage to pay off. A letter to Frederick, huh? I do want to get to know him better now that we can simply be friends. So he likes books and model ships. Those sound like nice hobbies, though it's a little surprising. Gwen, welcome back. How did things go with Prince Frederick? Hi, Gwen. Oh, everything went perfectly, all thanks to your help. Yes, girl. We want to hear all about it. Hi, Prez. Hey, great to see you, Gwen. Today's a fun day. We're gonna... Make potions to reverse our curses. Uh, what? Abby, no. I told you we can't do that. Please, Prez. <sighs> I really, really need to try this today. Just this once. Is today a special day? Well, tonight's my school prom. It's basically the most important night in every teenager's life. And when I think about walking out onto that dance floor in this stupid, cursed body, I refuse to go. But then I found this recipe for a 24-hour curse reversal potion! If we make it now, I could have the magical prom night I've always dreamed of. Abby, you know that's not going to work, right? It's just preying on people's insecurities to sell magazines. Besides, it completely goes against the point of the Cursed Princess Club, which is to love ourselves in our current form. Yeah, but what if we all got 24 hours to be our old selves again? Wouldn't that be amazing, guys? Oh my! I could go on a date with my Benedict again! I could lie all I want without consequences! Uh, no. There would still be consequences for your lies. But I could finally order at a fast food restaurant without turning into a bird! Ordering fast food makes you anxious? <laughs> they ask so many questions, and everyone in line is waiting on me, and... and... But, guys, what would Princess Panda say? I wonder if this could be a good opportunity to learn what Prez's curse is. Um, Prez? Oh, uh, yes, kiddo? <sighs> Gwen still listens to me. What would you do if you had your curse removed for 24 hours? Nothing. I can't take back the things I've done. I can only take my past experiences and try to do something with them that can help others in the present. Please, Prez, just let me try this today. I'll never ask for anything ever again. All I want is for Bobby to tell me that I'm beautiful and to take my hand to dance just once. <sighs> Fine, but I'm not taking any part in it, okay? Really? Thank you, Prez. Come on, Gwen. Huh? We gotta go to the market. I've got such a soft spot for little old ladies. Thanks for coming with me, Gwen. 
You like to cook and stuff, so I figured you'd be perfect for helping me pick out potion ingredients. Well, I've never cooked with Chimera's blood or centaur hair before, but I'm happy to help. Okay, the last ingredient is brandy. Who's brandy? And what part of her do we cut off and stick in the potion? What? That's alcohol. We can't buy that. We're miners. Psh, look at who you're talking to. No one would even believe me if I said I was 15. Abby, we still should Oh, come on, Gwen. It's not like I want to get drunk or anything. I'm just going to use the alcohol to get a boy from school to make out with me. Hmm? No, oh, um, it's okay. I, I'm younger than I look. Uh, see? So just wait here, and I'll be right back, okay? Uh, Abby, wait! Hey, little boy. Grandma wants to get lit. Well, I tried to stop her. Maybe I'll just wait in the store so I don't look complicit. Oh? Oh, model ships! Maybe I can find something here to send along with my letter to Frederick. <laughs> hey, I got the goods! Let's head back and make some potion! Oh, did you buy something from that store? Yeah, I got some gifts to send to Frederick as a token of our new friendship. Books and a ship in a bottle? This is what Frederick likes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what an old geezer. Hmm. Okay, what's the next step in the recipe? Let's see. Boil one cup of Chimera's blood with three raccoon molars and simmer for five minutes. Hey, Gwen, where did we put the newt eyeballs again? Um. The vial should be in the bag, sitting on the coffee table. Ah, found it. Thanks. Okay. Oh. I think it's done. Hey, everyone. Who wants to try a 24-hour curse reversal potion? <gasps> me. I do. Uh, my cursed hand isn't letting me raise my other arm, but me too, please. Hey, Prez, don't you want to get in on this? No, thanks. I'm going to go chop some firewood. You guys have fun, though. Hmm. Suit yourself. So according to this magazine, everyone who wants to participate should take a piece of paper and write down a specific wish or reason as to why they want their curse reversed. After that, each person must drink a full cup of potion and kiss their scrap of paper. The potion will take effect in a few minutes and last for exactly 24 hours. And since Gwen doesn't have a curse, she'll just be watching over us in case anything goes awry. Cause she's the best. It's the least I can do after all you guys helped me with. So everyone, grab a glass and let's do this! Yeah! <sighs> There's always just been one thing I've wanted. I want to try on mascara. I want to be able to walk outside without making obscene hand gestures to people on the street. One thing that I'd do anything for. <clears throat> I want to walk into my school auditorium in my uncursed teenage body and my glittery dress and to have Bobby approach me and say, Abby, I think you're beautiful. Will you dance with me? Yes, Bobby. Um, Abby, you've been kissing that paper for like five minutes. I think that's good enough. <clears throat> now we just have to sit for a few minutes and wait for the potion to activate. <laughs> I'm so excited. Fifteen minutes later. Any second now. Forty-five minutes later. I, I think I feel something tingling. Uh, Sixty minutes later. No. It was just my butt. It fell asleep. Hmm. Hey, Gwen, come here. I made you a necklace out of some unused paper. Oh, wow, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote down if I didn't turn into a crow from anxiety, my wish would be to one day open a jewelry store. Here, take a look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Do you like it? Oh, my God. No. Oh. oh. <sighs> okay. Uh, no problem. I'll just come up with a new dream. My face looked shattered in that mirror, too. That means there's nothing wrong with the mirror in my bedroom. 
Is there something wrong with me? Um, Abby darling? Well, that was quite a delicious heron teeth tea. Uh. Wasn't the purpose to make our curses vanish? If so, then why am I still in this repulsive, voluptuous human flesh? And why has Monica turned into a bird again? Yeah, sorry I wasted everyone's time. I guess this means I'm not going to my prom after all. You sure you don't want to go at all? Even just to see your classmates? No, I'll just kill the mood looking like this. I think I'm just gonna go up to bed now. Um, actually, before you go upstairs, Press said she'd like to speak to you outside. Great. I get to have her lecture me about why I shouldn't have been tricked by a stupid magazine. Isn't being stuck in this body punishment enough? Abby? Listen, Prez, I get it. I... Uh, I'm no Bobby, but I think you're beautiful just the way you are, Abby. Will you dance with me? Uh, yes! Curtis, if you would. Right away, your highness. <laughs> I don't know what Abby looked like before her curse, but there's no doubt that she looks beautiful on the dance floor right now. Shall we join them, girls? Looks like we're having a dance party! Oh my! If that's the case, huh? then I shall treat you all to a rare demonstration huh? of one of the most sensuous and dangerous of dances. The Lobster Courtship Dance! Do I have a volunteer for a partner? Why, thank you, Saffron! What? No, you stupid hand! Is this revenge for drinking a curse reversal potion? Let's go, partner! But I didn't mean to volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> Please watch the claws! <laughs> <laughs>